Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of minimum variance unbiased estimator for a parameter in a general linear model. That is, consider a model where we have an observation x is equal to a known parameter s plus h times theta, where theta is the unknown parameter vector plus the noise w. So, s is a known signal component. Signal component. So, theta is the unknown parameter vector. W follows a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and covariance matrix C. H is obviously the observational matrix and X is the vector of observation. So, the goal is to find an estimator theta hat. Here the key difference between the general model and the standard linear model is that the covariance matrix C has a non-diagonal structure. That is, C is not equal to a diagonal matrix. That is, C has a structure where we have values in the diagonal and then we have the values in the off diagonals that is sigma 1, sigma 2 1 and so on and sigma 1 2 and so on. So, the key difference is the covariance has a full matrix structure and since covariance matrix is a positive different matrix we can rewrite or we can write its inverse we can rewrite we can write its inverse as a product of D transpose D, where D is a invertible matrix. It is basically a, a matrix version of the concept of a positive real number. That is, where when we have a real number x, which can be written as A square, we have a matrix C inverse, which can be written as D transpose D. And uh, from, from, from this matrix D, we can actually whiten the observations. That is, D can be used as a whitening transformation matrix. So, for example, for the noise, the whitened noise becomes w dash is equal to d w, where the covariance of w dash is equal to expectation of w dash multiplied by transpose of w dash, which is equal to expectation of d w multiplied by d w transpose, which is equal to d multiplied by expectation of w into w transpose multiplied by d transpose, which is equal to d multiplied by matrix C into d transpose. And since C inverse is equal to d transpose into d, we have d multiplied by d transpose d whole inverse d transpose, which is clearly equal to d multiplied by d inverse into d inverse transpose into d transpose. So, this is clearly equal to the identity identity matrix I. Therefore, by using the transformation D, we can whiten the noise and use the standard minimum variance estimator. The matrix D acts as a whitening filter. Now, by applying the same transformation on the observations, we have x dash is equal to D times x minus s, the sig known signal component s. So, by using the model, we have x dash is equal to d times h theta plus w. That is, x minus s is equal to h theta plus w. So, this becomes, this can be written as x dash equal to h dash into theta multiplied by w dash, where h dash is equal to d into h. Now, this is one is a standard linear model, where the estimator theta hat is equal to h dash transpose into h dash inverse h dash transpose multiplied by the observation vector x dash, which is equal to d h transpose into d h whole inverse into d h transpose multiplied by d into x minus s. So, this is equal to h transpose d h transpose d transpose d h whole inverse h transpose d transpose d into x minus s. And since d transpose into d is the covariance inverse of the covariance matrix C, so we can write 
it has H transpose into C inverse H whole inverse H transpose C inverse X minus S. Therefore, this is the MVU estimator for the unknown parameter vector theta when the noise follows a Gaussian distribution with the covariance matrix C and also when we have the known signal component in the linear model. Now, let us look at the movements of this estimator theta hat. Expectation of theta hat is clearly equal to expectation of this solution which is H transpose C inverse H whole inverse into H transpose C inverse x minus s which is equal to H transpose C inverse H whole inverse H transpose C inverse expectation of x minus s and since x minus s is equal to H theta plus w the expectation of x minus s should be equal to expectation of this sum which is clearly H times theta. Therefore, this is equal to H transpose C inverse H whole inverse H transpose C inverse into H times theta and clearly we can see that these two matrices or these two products basically cancel each other or it becomes an identity. So, we have expectation of theta hat is equal to the true parameter theta or true parameter vector theta. Now, let us look at the covariance of this estimator which is equal to by definition expectation of theta hat into theta hat transpose minus expectation of theta hat multiplied by expectation of theta hat transpose. Since we already know the expectation of theta hat, we only need to find the second moment which is expectation of theta hat into theta hat transpose which is equal to by you writing the um, MVU solution, we have expectation of H transpose C inverse H H whole inverse H transpose C inverse into X minus S multiplied by X minus S transpose into C inverse H into H transpose C inverse H whole inverse which is equal to H transpose C inverse H whole inverse H transpose C inverse expectation of X minus S into X minus S transpose into C inverse H H transpose C inverse H whole inverse. So, now we need to know the expectation of the product X minus S into X minus S transpose which is clearly equal to expectation of H theta plus W multiplied by H theta plus W it is H theta plus W transpose. So, this is equal to since H and theta are deterministic we basically have to look at the expectation of W times W transpose which is the covariance matrix. So, we have an expectation of H theta multiplied by H theta transpose is equal to H into theta theta transpose into H transpose plus expectation of W into W transpose which is the covariance matrix C. So, now by inserting this result in the previous expression we have H transpose C inverse H whole inverse H transpose multiplied by C inverse into H theta theta transpose H transpose plus C multiplied by C inverse H into H transpose C inverse H whole. So, upon simplification this becomes H transpose C inverse H whole inverse H transpose C inverse H multiplied by theta into theta into the theta transpose multiplied by H transpose C inverse H into H transpose C inverse whole inverse. And the second term is H transpose C inverse H inverse H transpose C inverse C into C inverse H into H transpose C inverse H whole inverse which is equal to theta multiplied by theta transpose plus H transpose C inverse H whole inverse. Therefore, covariance of theta hat is clearly equal to H transpose C inverse H whole inverse. Since theta times theta transpose cancels with the product of expectation theta expectation of theta hat multiplied by 
expectation of theta hat transpose therefore this is the covariance of the estimator theta hat thanks for watching